Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to carry out a book review of a famous book, Excuses Be Gone by Dr. Wayne Dyer. Now there are seven steps in world, or there are seven uh, stages of or principles of uh, removing these excuses which uh, keep on haunting us in our lives. First is awareness, then second is alignment, then now contemplation, willingness, passion, compassion. So we take on the first principle and there are two quotations. Thinking without awareness is the main dilemma of human existence. That is people, most of the people carry out thinking without taking into account the awareness element. And then there is another important quotation and that is, it is the awareness of how you are stuck that makes you recover. So lifelong wrong thinking keeps one stuck, often without a realization. Awareness and ego cannot coexist. This is, first of all, a lesson which must be remembered. You need to be 100% in touch with your authentic self. You originated in a formless, invisible world. Scientists acknowledge that all particles, including you, emerge from an energy field of nothingness. It's spirit that gives life, and it is to spirit that all life returns. When awareness is your reality, you don't need to explain your shortcomings or missed opportunities. Instead, you transcend the pull of ego and move into a totally new dimension of higher consciousness. To put it simply and bluntly, if you don't realize that you are stuck up in your old thinking habits, then negative habits will prevail and persist. Breaking old habits requires noticing that you are creating impediments in your life and that these impediments have become excuses for so-called limitations. So most of the problems are self-generated and it is the awareness which will come to a rescue Awareness that you are stuck up somewhere and wherever you are stuck up, try to get out of that. Because otherwise it will not be possible to move on. Now the second principle is regarding alignment. Now if, you're, if the tires of your car are out of alignment, see what damage they do to the machinery. Similarly, if you are out of alignment, then you are damaging yourself. Excuses are all misalignments. If you stay aligned with the source, you would enjoy explore, exploring an excuse-free life. The act of creation itself brings non-being into being. This is a vibrational frequency. So awareness is a representation of your highest self, which knows that it is a physical extension of the divine, the invisible source of all being, Alignment represents movement into the state of awareness. When you become aligned, your thoughts are no longer focused on what you don't want, but rather on what you intend to manifest as a co-creator co with the source. Stay in a state of gratitude and let the awesome yet explainable Tao proceed to do nothing and yet leave nothing undone. And who you really are is a higher awareness than your earthbound form. Just this simple idea that you are not an ego-based self, but rather divine energy in physical form will help readjust your energy. So this is also important. Remember that you are basically a field of energy in a physical form. So the decision to stay in alignment is yours. And once you are trying to move into the field of alignment, once you are trying to align yourself with the source that is God, become an observer, then a demander. Because you can only be in alignment when you are, when you are, you see, in a position to, uh, connect with the source rather than disconnect with the source. Then the third principle is now. 
All excuses are avoidance techniques. And excuses can't coexist with awareness and alignment. And our relationship with the present moment defines our relationship to life itself. If we are constantly in a state of frustration and annoyance, we can't be appreciative of life. So getting out of that is essential. Remove judgment from what you are experiencing. Allow rather than resist. Most of the time we are resisting the life flow in us. That has to be avoided and avoid being reactive. Because if you become reactive, then you can't see pro um, uh, properly. Only when you see properly, you are creative. Otherwise, you are reactive. So contemplation is sharp focus. If you are not focused, you can't get what you want in life. Contemplate upon what originates from your authentic self. Authentic self <clears throat> is uh, about a lot of divine and blissful things. Avoid the self-defeating rhythm. The lucky break or synchronistic opportunity happens only when you have developed the habit of contemplation and view contemplation as action. Because once you contemplate with a focus, you are in fact becoming creative. The fifth principle is willingness. All experiences are gifts, whether they were unpleasant or pleasant. Accept the responsibility for all wrong done. Learn to surrender, because without surrendering, you cannot uh, enter into that state of alignment, because then you will keep on resisting. Spiritual maturity lies in the readiness to let go of everything. You came with nothing, you must accept this fact that you will leave with nothing as far as physical possessions are concerned. Hold on to your being, that is, you are a divine being or a spiritual being having, a, not having an earthly experience in this world. Old pictures don't fade quickly. In, on your mindscape or in your mental screen, there are many nightmarish um, effects and there are many horror kind of uh, movies going on you are the director of and producer of your own life so bring in you see those things which you want to see and which give you confidence and which in a way uh, create a better version of yourself get rid of the mind viruses your inner screen must show areas of strength where there is no we and people perish this is a line from the old testament so have a vision of yourself. What do you want in life? What do you want to achieve in life after you have achieved a career, after you've got married, after you've got settled down? What do you now want to achieve in life? You must uh, establish, you see, your connection with the divine source that originated you and gave you life. The sixth principle is passion. When a man is willing and eager, God joins him. Now, passion is a vigorous kind of enthusiasm. Keep the flame of your passion burning and it will burn the excuses to ashes. Enthusiasm signifies God in us. The presence of passion is the greatest gift you can receive and when it is aligned with spirit, treat it as a miracle. Comfort, luxury and possessions are the chief requirements of the ego. You must go in for the development and nurturing of your authentic self, which is the spirit. Treat your body as a temple as a temple because it houses the spirit and the spirit has come from God. The non-existent is whatever we have not sufficiently desired. <clears throat> Once we desire it with a focus, it will become existent for us. The sixth principle is passion. Enthusiasm enables, we, we, have, we are discussing the same thing. In the previous slide, we also discussed passion, but there are certain more points which need to be reinforced. So enthusiasm enables you to stay in spirit or inspired. Keep your relationship with God the number one relationship. Professor Ahmed Rafiq Akhtar keeps on emphasizing this thing that God is available to every believer provided the believer gives him the topmost protocol. If one gives the topmost protocol to God, he is available and one can have access 
and communicate uh, one can have access to god and one can communicate effectively with god stay in a state of wonder and bewilderment over everything that you encounter be continuously grateful and appreciative if your willingness to give blessings is limited so also is your ability to receive them so become a giver once you become a giver the universe will offer you many gifts in return but do not go in for uh, this kind of an arrangement thinking consciously that the universe will give you um, gifts in return just follow the principle that you should be a giver you should be helpful to people and uh, the universe will take care of your needs god and god are essentially synonymous this is a saying from the old testament passion is the presence of the creative source inside you nurture it so develop it promote it then we come on to the seventh principle compassion we were born and we were able to survive because of the compassion which our parents showed towards us now in order to be compassionate yourself you must make a shift in your thinking instead of demanding things from life you must make a paradigm shift by saying how may i serve if you get on to the job of service then that is when you are in total alignment with what nature and god wants from you there is no room for blame in your life as long as you live with kindness when you shift to compassion all blame disappears and nature gives us on job training whenever we go wrong we get punished one way or the other till such time that we learn from our lessons so these are some of the principles that one must keep in mind in order to get rid of excuses because people most of the people who are not success in, successful in life always have excuses at the back of their mind that someone did this thing or some impediment came this way because of someone else and because of that you got swerved away from the right path or from what you wanted to achieve in life so now get out of that accept responsibility for your actions observe these seven principles and try to mold your life in a way that there are no more excuses and your connection with the divine is fully established and that you learn to give top priority to god who is the source of all creation and who is the source of all goodness so at the end i would say do not rush through this text because this is something which you must try to internalize and in in order to internalize you must keep on repeating it to yourself over and over again so that these seven principles are totally internalized and you remember them off and on now francis bacon gave a statement that some books have to be tasted some to be chewed and some to be digested now this is a book that needs to be chewed and digested read this text or listen several times so that you benefit from it you must recharge your spiritual battery occasionally because if you do not uh, uh, recharge your, your battery it will go dead so the connection with god has to be given full sustenance thank you very much god bless you